All right. Well, it seems like the defense did pretty well early, but the offense could never get going. Maybe. Yeah, I thought the defense had, you know, defense did well if the offense had been able to answer the call in the first 15 to 17 minutes of the game. You know, it might have been a little different game. I don't think quarter, their quarterback would have played with as much confidence because he was certainly a little bit not himself early. But, uh, you know, we just never got going on offense, and we haven't really got going yet uh, in the first three games. But um, there's a lot of football left, and hopefully we'll pick it up. Well, I mean, did you see improvements in the offense this game? No. How can your O-line better protect Gilbert? Um, they did as good a job as they can do. Why hasn't this offense gotten going throughout the season? Um, well, there's a lot of reasons. Number one, we got a lot of new guys in there and uh, got a new quarterback learning the system, and we just haven't done as good a job as we need to do. You know about what a challenge it was for Franzio containing him? Oh, yeah, well, I knew it was going to be. I thought, like I said early, if we had answered anything to the game early offensively when the defense kind of stopped them the first five or six times they had the ball, I think that uh, everybody kind of would have rallied up. But, you know, we just couldn't get, get anything going, couldn't convert. The last two weeks on third down, we've been terrible. And uh, uh, that's, you know, just you can't win doing that. In that first half, when it was still pretty close, you had a couple of fourth and ones that you decided to punt on. Did you think about going to it? Yeah, I thought about going for it, but the defense is playing good. When the defense is playing good, you don't go for them. How much difference would it have made if uh, Gilbert had been able to go through spring here? Well, uh, I don't know the answer to that question. If you ask me that in week six or seven, then I'll have a little better idea. But obviously, any any you know, the more he's in it, the better he's going to feel and more comfortable and. And we've got to get better around him too, you know. And uh, you know, it's even though the quarterback is a you know key in any offense, it's it's you know it's not totally on him. It's not totally on just any anybody. Um, but you know, we we definitely have to play better if we expect to to win seven or eight nine games this year. How does the overall speed of the offense, going by receivers, backs affect the efficiency of the quarterback? Well, I mean, obviously, when you're when you have a good player, I think we got we got speed around it. I just don't think we're executing at what we need to do right now uh, for that. I, I I think that you know Zach has has uh, done his job. I think you know everybody's just got to pick it up a little bit. But I think we have enough talent there. But we're, when you don't do the right things and when you have chances to make plays and you don't make them, you know we had two or three chances in the middle of the second quarter to make plays, and we missed them. If you make them, then everybody, you know, you feel good and you, and you go. Right before the field goal try, mm -hmm. uh, number seven ran either a square in, short square in, and he was right in the middle of the field in empty space, and it seemed like he didn't pick him up and threw the ball to the outside. Well, I think he threw the ball to the outside to the correct guy, but he threw it a little bit behind him, so instead of getting a first down, you, your yard right. or two short, you know, if you put it right on the money. And you got a chance to turn it around. A few plays, like you say, were yeah. inches away from being big, successful plays that yeah. cost. Them. That's accurate. What would you attribute that to? A few were thrown over his wideout's heads, or maybe behind the wideout on their route. I think it's experience in playing. You know, feeling comfortable in what you're doing. Comfort with his receivers, or comfortable just with him. With him. Talked about uh, getting better around him. One player that got in the rotation early was Garrett Dieter. I feel like you might use him more since he's such a big target. Um, yeah, he'll he'll definitely get some time in there. He, you know, we got him doing what what he can do. You know, uh, he's a he's a good player, and I think he's gonna be a good player as he gets older. There were a lot of times that you guys had third and ones, third and third and twos, third and fours. Why couldn't you guys convert on those? Well, we didn't. Uh, Execute. We didn't make the throws, and uh, we ran. We didn't block them when we ran it. And you know they're pretty, pretty good physical up front defense. But you know you still have to. You got opportunities to do it, but you got to make the throw and the catch, and you got to block somebody if you run it. You know. Anything else, guys?